Speaker. Mr. Secretary, thanks for being here. I want to tap your expertise for a moment. Uh, gi give, me, uh, uh, give me your best estimate, just an estimate I know, uh, of, of uh, uh, how soon you think the United States of America will be carbon neutral. So uh, I think, according to the climate scientists around the world and certainly the cutting-edge scientists that we need to rely on here in the U.S., we've got to get carbon neutral by 2050. And I'm very comfortable with that target, and I think that's the appropriate by 20, target. By 2050. Which is only 27 years. That is not a long time away. And, and how much will that cost? So the cost that I focus on even more is all the costs no, that the are going to happen cost. if we don't get our act together. How much will it together. cost to get us carbon neutral? It's going to cost trillions of dollars, and it'll cost tens of trillions of dollars if how, we don't get our act together. How many trillions? I don't have the estimate or the numbers in front of me. I've seen a variety of different estimates, but it's a large amount. Fundamentally transforming our energy economy tell me the is a big deal. You, tell me the estimates that you've seen. I don't have those numbers right on hand. So, so you're advocating that we become carbon neutral, but you don't know how much it's going to cost. So there's an awful lot of estimates out there. It depends yeah, on you're, technology. You're the, you're the, and other kinds of things. You're the expert. I know, I know with how much it's going to cost. I know with the certainty of all the experts I've spoken about, it's cheaper to get our act together than it is to not get our act together on climate okay. change. Okay. Then tell me the cost versus orders of the magnitude. cost that we, if we don't do it. I think it's orders of magnitude different. If we I don't get that, our act together, you, it's you don't you don't have a cost. You want us to get there, but you can't tell the American taxpayer how much it's going to cost. Is that your testimony? It's going to save us money, and there's a lot of jobs. Well, how do we know if you don't know how much it's going to cost? Uh, I'd be happy to pull up the latest numbers that I've seen. How about fifty trillion dollars? Is that right? It's going to cost trillions of dollars. There's no doubt about it. Okay, if we spend trillions of dollars. And we achieve, I, some of your colleagues estimate 50 trillion, and it disappoints me that you're not willing to give the estimates. I, I, don't, I, I hope you're not telling me you have no idea how much it's going to cost. That creates a whole new host of problems. But, but uh, if it costs $50 trillion, as some of your colleagues have testified, to become carbon neutral by 2050, and I'm all for carbon neutrality, by the way, how much is that going to lower world temperatures? Or how much is that going to reduce the increase in world temperatures? So every country around the world needs to get its act together. Our emissions are about 13 percent of global emissions. Yeah, but if right you could now. answer my question, if we spend $50 trillion to become carbon neutral in the United States of America by 2050, you're the Deputy Secretary of Energy. Give me your estimate of how much that is going to reduce world temperatures. So, so first of all, it's a net cost. Um, it's what uh, benefits we're having from getting our act together and reducing all of those climate benefits. We're how, seeing. Let me ask again. Maybe I'm being. Right now maybe I'm not being clear. If we spent fifty trillion dollars to become carbon neutral by two thousand and fifty in the United States of America, how? How much is that going to reduce world temperatures? This is a global problem. So we need to reduce our emissions, and we need to do everything we can. How much, if we do our part, countries. is it going to reduce so world we're temperatures? So we're 13 percent of global emissions. You don't know, right do you? You don't know, do you? You can do the math. We need to You don't know, do you, Mr. Secretary? So we're 13 percent of if global If you know, emissions. why won't if you we tell went, me? If we went to zero, that would be 13 percent. You don't know, do you? You just want us to spend $50 trillion dollars. And you don't have the slightest idea whether it's going to reduce world temperatures. Now, I'm all for carbon neutrality, but you're the deputy secretary of the Department of Energy, and you're advocating we spend trillions of dollars to seek carbon neutrality, and you can't, and this isn't your money or my money, it's taxpayer money, and you can't tell me how much it's going to lower world temperatures? There or you won't tell me? You know, but you won't? In my heart of hearts, there is no way the world gets its act together on climate change unless the U.S. leads. Tell me how much it's the going US to reduce. You, ca you can't tell me. Either that or you won't. We're 13%, and that's, 15% that, roughly that, The of President of the United emissions. States needs – I've still got a few seconds. I've got 22 seconds. I'm going to use them a different way. Ms. Secretary, shame on you for not answering my questions. Um, Madam Administrator, 
How are we going to get plutonium pit production back on track? Well, th thanks, Senator Kennedy. We are doing the, the most important thing we have to do to get pit production back on track is get craft workers in the facilities, finish our designs, get craft workers in the facilities, and that is happening. Uh, and so we, uh, we have got great confidence between changes we're making in our processes, uh, getting people on board, doing equipment pre-buys, particularly for glove boxes, which are limited manufacturers in the United States, uh, that we will be able to make pits. We're going to be late. We're trying to catch up. Thank you, ma'am.